Is there girlfriend repellent? I need some of that. Uh, I think you're working on it. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome to campsite number one. The first night of sleeping in the car was a success. We found this awesome little like boat launch at this calm lake. We put up, uh, here I'll show you guys. We put up, thanks to Lana's ingenious idea, we have some bug screen here that we just kind of used a magnet and stuck up. So we had some nice airflow while we were sleeping. Kept some of the mosquitoes out. Had a bit of a fail at first because mosquitoes were getting in, we were getting attacked, and then they had no way of getting out. So kind of the reverse effect. But uh, yeah, overall successful night and beautiful way to wake up. It's blue skies, the sun is shining. It's gonna be a warm like 20 degree day and we are off to Killarney today. Land is still sleepy and comfy in bed though. Hi, Lana. Hi. I'm so glad we got a real mattress put in here. Even if it leaves not a lot of headroom, so much better for a good night's sleep. Made it to Killarney. And it is very, very buggy. What you missed was the panic trying to pack up our bag. Anyways, ah, we're gonna try and avoid the bugs today. We've got a bit of a chill day again because we thought we would be traveling from Algonquin, which would have been a longer drive. So we're just kind of chilling at the beach now because it's like gorgeous out and it's hot and I'm in I like all, all blue swag. So gonna enjoy it some beach time. No one is here because who swims at this point in time? We do and it's gonna be cold and bug free. We see Alana trying to get a single thing out of the bag and just getting attacked by flies. They're on the beach too. This is supposed to be sacred and bug free. <laughs> Water in Ontario in early June is cold. We're gonna head over there. There's like a cool little jut out of rock and uh, we'll be brave enough to get in if we can jump off something. This is one of the backpacking trails that we were going to do in Killarney. As you can see, it's 100 kilometers, 9 to 7 days, the high difficulty, which that has beginner written all over it. So we decided to not do this one <laughs> until we're a bit more experienced. And we live in Ontario, so we can always just drive out here and do it sometime in the future when we're more experienced. Instead, tomorrow we're gonna do the crack, which is about an 18K hike. And then the day after that, we're going, we actually rented a canoe and we're gonna go canoe out and go see Silver Peak. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go see if we can go down to that thing that from this point looks like a giant beached whale. Summer goal to not be this pale by the time summer is done. I think we'll accomplish that though, right? Oh god. It's really cold. It's cold. Well, one's for you, YouTube. <laughs> Well, that was cold to say the least, but feels pretty good. I think this will be our method of refreshing ourselves along the trip. It counts as a shower, right? Yeah, that counts as a shower. Find a nice warm slab of darker rock and sunbathe a little bit. Because we ain't got anything else to do. Might even have some carrots and hummus because, you know, I earned it. Uh, you guys might see a lot of this on this trip. We're done our, our bit of a snack. It was it was really hot, so. Really hot. Like, we're probably already a bit burnt, which is good. You need to build up that base <laughs> layer of burning. Granite Ridge Trail. This is uh, about a 2K hike, so this will be a bit of a breeze. Not trying to strain ourselves too much today because tomorrow we got a bit of a longer day hike. That'll take about 
you know, six to seven hours, depending on how quick we are. So we're not trying to go too crazy today. Look how big that slug is. That is a fat slug. The awesome thing is that Killarney is massive. So when you have a lookout point, it just goes and goes and goes. And there's just like no end. Not bad for like a 2K hike. The reward versus the effort is uh, is definitely in your favor with this one. Is their girlfriend repellent? I need some of that. Uh, I think you're working on it. <laughs> we are at Blarney Outfitters. So I've been doing this all day. I forgot my sunglasses or I lost them somewhere. So I'm gonna go get another pair of cheap ones. Hopefully that'll stop me from squinting so much. So no luck with the sunglasses. I'm still gonna be squinty for now. Was trying on some hats by the way. That's why my hair is down and crazy. Decided also not to spend money on those either because I do have a hat. It's just being used right now. I lost my hat. I forgot it. Today, Alana, what do we have for dinner? What's behind the big green Coleman stove? A huge thing of macaroni and cheese. Oh yeah. And we went to Bulk Barn and got that orange mac and cheese oh, yeah. powder. But we're not savages. We got pepper to go on it too. Oh yeah. Oh god, there's cheese in the air. We just finished dinner, we packed all of that stuff up, and then we made some lunch and s mixed together some trail mix for the hike tomorrow, and that's the crack. Alana right now is uh, taking a shower at one of the Killarney Park facilities. I'm holding out, I'm just gonna get gross for like one or maybe two more days cause we're gonna go uh, hiking tomorrow and I'm gonna get sweaty and gross anyways. So I figured maybe if I have enough energy, I'll just do it after that instead. Uh, so I am getting up to some editing, editing the first episode. Gonna see what kind of pace I can keep up with, with the editing and stuff between hiking and you know the downtime in the night it seems like i have a decent amount of time to work on this stuff the problem is battery life uh and making sure that my laptop and everything else that i need is charged so i'm i'm doing my best for you guys and we'll see what kind of schedule i can maintain after alana's done in the shower we're gonna head to our campsite for the night and we just kind of found a little offshoot road near Killarney. Uh, it's, it's not quite in the park though, so we should be good in that way. We're gonna go set up and get nice and cozy again. I'm probably gonna keep editing. We might listen to like a podcast or something to lull us to sleep because it's only like 7.30 right now, but we got a big day tomorrow, so we wanna get plenty of rest. And now that we're used to sleeping in the car, we should be able to get a better rest. And oh, look who came back. Fresh out of the shower, freshly clean. I'm clean. Mama bear in her cubs. Oh my god. Look how tiny they are, they're so cute. They look like little tiny. I'm happy to be at this distance though. Yes, definitely. Oh my god, they're so adorable. So we're on a bit of a roll with seeing baby animals, aren't we? We are. That was so cool. Amazing, I've never seen that up close and just in their element, doing their own thing. So cool to see from a car. And uh, like moments before that, we saw a bear crossing the road and I tried to film it, but it was so far ahead that by the time we got there, it ran off. And then we're driving along and we see another car pulled over ahead of us. Oh, hello, bag. And so we decide to pull over to see what the commotion's about. We look over and see with that mom and the two cubs. And just the little, oh, they're like little teddy bears. You like want to hug them, but then the mom would like totally mangle your entire face. So 
didn't do that, but really cute and awesome to appreciate from the car.